I am moving towards Hailstone series program. Hailstone series also is not that difficult. It is comparatively easier than Fibonacci series. Hailstone series. Okay, this is the name of the series. Now in Fibonacci series, what we do is we take the first two numbers, any two numbers we take at the beginning. But in Hailstone series, we take only one number at the beginning. And the number that I am going to take is 22. Because in exam, most of the time we get question with this particular series, which we are about to solve. Okay. So in Hailstone series, what we have is we have two conditions. One is for odd number and in one another one is for the even number. So these are the two conditions odd number condition. If the number is odd, then what we do is we multiply the number by three and add one if it is odd number. Now, if it is even number, if it is even number, then what we what we do is we divide okay we divide the number by two so this is all we do to generate hailstone series okay if it is odd number then we multiply by three and we add one if it is even number then divide the number by two and all these multiplication and division will be done to the last number of the series so right let's go towards our editor so at the beginning we have 22 it's not that you have to start with 22 but you can you start with any number but i'm starting with 22. so 22 now 22 it is a even number so if it is an even number then what we have to do is we have to divide by 2. so 22 when divided by 2 will give us 11 and that is going to be our next number so we have 11. so 11 is a odd number if it is an odd number then what we have to do is we have to multiply by 3 and add 1. So when we multiply by three, it is 33. And when we add one, it is 34. So 33 plus one is 34. And 34 is going to be our next number. Now we have to check our last number, which is again 34. So 34 is an even number. And since it is an even number, we have to divide by two. And when we divide by two, we get 17 as a result. And 17 is going to be our next number, 17. Now 17 is an odd number. so we have to divide 17 by 3 and add 1. And when we do this, we get 52 as our next number. Because 17 into 3 is 51. And when we add 1, we get 52. And accordingly, we get our hailstone series. So this is actually the series which is uh, frequently asked in exam. Now it might not be, uh, this series might not always be asked with these numbers, which we are seeing right now. If we have another number, then our series is going to be series is going to look a little bit different. So that's why at the beginning, what I told you is if you get this kind of series or the Fibonacci series, it will be a little bit, it might look a little bit unusual. Okay. So if you get any unusual series, then check for Hellstone and check for Fibonacci at the beginning. So, okay, now what we'll basically do is we'll solve, we'll write a program to solve Hellstone series program. Okay. So let's first change our sub procedure name and let's write hail as that of before. We don't need anything in our parameter part, no input. So directly call and just remember the brackets are not required over here. If you write brackets, as you can see, error will be displayed so brackets are not required okay whenever you have empty brackets in your declaration part brackets are not required in calling as well as in your definition part as you can see over here brackets are not present so let's write hail okay now the first number is 22 so let's store 22 in variable a and b and these are not required and whatever we will be whatever numbers we will display everything will be displayed inside the loop so altogether question says display up to the 10 term so we have to display 10 numbers 
and for 10 numbers we have to run our loop 10 times so instead of it we have to write 10 before two numbers we displayed before our loop that's why we wrote eight that is that was in the case of fibonacci series but this is hailstone series where everything will be displayed inside the loop so our loop has to run all together 10 times okay so our first number 22 is already ready in a so let's print it so print a now for the next number what we have to do is we have to check our first number which is 22 so according to its order even we will be displaying our next number so let's check our condition and it will be checked through if statement so if a and this time we are checking for odd and even and the condition for odd and even is if a mode 2 is equals to 0 which we have already seen or we have already studied in previous programs so if this condition is true then we know that the number that is stored in a is a even number and if it is an even number then what we do is we have to divide by 2 so a divide by 2 and whatever is the result we store in variable a in the same variable because a is the variable we are using to display the numbers so a is equals to a slash 2 else if this condition is false then we know that the value that is stored in a is a odd number and if it is if the condition is false then it will go towards its false part which is below else and in else part we have to multiply by 3 and add 1 so a is equals to a multiply by 3 plus 1 so this is all we need to do while checking our condition so end if next and our program is almost finished so let's just check our output and see whether it is correct or incorrect so this is our, our output and whatever series, whatever numbers we are seeing right now is a Hellstone series. So 22, 11, 34, 17, 52, even number. So divide by 2, 26, even number, divide by 2, 13, odd number, multiply by 3 plus 1 is 40, even number, 40, then 20, then 10. And there is one more thing I would like to tell you in this series is, Whenever you continue this series in this conditions, that is in these two criteria, that is odd number and even number criteria, you will always reach to four to one. Okay, whatever number you use, you keep on following these conditions, and at the end you will always get to four to one. After one, you will get four. That is one is a odd number, so multiply by three and add one, you get four which is this one, then this is an even number, divide by 2, you get 2, again divide by 2, you get 1, and after 1, you will again reach to 4. So this is where you will always reach when you follow these two conditions, and such kind of series are said to be hailstone series. Okay, so the only thing left right now is to trace our program, so let's trace our program and finish off our class. Okay. Okay, let me remove this. Now, first of all, we have A and A holds value 22. And after that, we, we come to this loop part where we have variable I. At the beginning, start value is one. So one will be stored in I, so one. And one is a valid value. So it, our control will go towards the body part. And whatever I highlight is the body part, okay? from print a to end if is our body part so print a means value of a will be printed and value of a is 22 then here after printing the value of a condition checking will take place 22 mode 2 equal to 0 whenever a number 22 is divided by 2 we get remainder as a 0 is true so this condition is true it will go towards its true part which is just below it that is this is the true part so 22 divided by 2 is 11 and 11 will be stored in a so the new value is a is 11 i hope everything is clear so far else okay sorry after this execution of the true part it will go below end if so below end if is next next will take us to step no step i will increase i becomes 2 2 is also valid in this range so it will go towards its body where it finds print a print a means value of a will be displayed which is 11 
after 11 condition checking will take place 11 mode 2 equal to 0 is false because 11 is a odd number and odd number when divided by 2 will not give remainder as 0 so this condition is false and once our condition is false our control will go to the false part and false part is below else and this is our false part where 11 will get multiplied by 3 33 and plus 1 will give us 34 and 34 will be stored in a so here we have 34 then comes end if then comes next next will take us to step no step i will increase i becomes three three is also valid in the range then we have print a print a means 34 will be displayed condition checking will take place 34 mode 2 equal to 0 is true so true means it will go over here 34 divided by 2 is 17 17 will be stored in a then end if then next next will again take us to step no step i will increase 4 4 is also a valid value print a print a means 17 will be displayed 17 mode 2 equal to 0 is false so it will go towards our false part so 17 into 3 is 51 plus 1 is 52 so 52 will be stored in a so a will get a new value that is 52 and if next next will take us to step step means i will increase i will become 5 5 is also a valid value print a a will be displayed that is 52 will be displayed and accordingly our loop will continue and it will display up to the 10th 10th top here we can see in our output part altogether we have 10 hailstone series numbers starting from 22 Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is our hailstone series. So that's all for today's class. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like my video so that I get motivated to create more of these videos. We would appreciate if you would share this video with your friends. And if you have any queries and suggestions, let me know through the comment section. Lastly, please do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you.